In this video, I'll show you how to buy a domain name with Namecheap. I'll walk you through the whole process here, start to finish, so you won't have any confusion when you come to buy your first domain name in Namecheap. So go to Namecheap.com on any web browser. From here, you can go ahead and register a domain name. First, you need to find out if that domain name is available. So if you've got an idea for a domain name, go ahead and enter it in here. Now, I would recommend you enter it in with a .com extension and see if that's available. So for the video, we'll try and find one that is available. So we'll try knowledgebasemedia.com and I'll see if that is available and if we can take it. So we can see that this domain name is not available. Now, if I was set on having Knowledge Base Media and I saw this, I've got a couple of options right now. I can either go and settle for knowledgebasemedia.net or any other domain, or I can rethink this entirely and find a brand or a company name which has the .com domain available. Now, I would recommend you do the second option because you really do need a .com domain. Like, I wouldn't use a .net domain because one, someone already owns the .com, and two, if you get big, you want the .com name anyway because it is worldwide. So I would rethink this and I'm gonna enter in a new domain. So I've renamed it to knowledgebasevideos.com and you can see that is now available for eight pounds per year. We're gonna go ahead and add that to the cart. Now, for some reason, I've already got a domain in my cart which I will remove shortly. So let's go ahead and check out. Now we don't need to add any of these add-ons on. Again, these are add-ons. You can add them if you want, but I don't recommend any of these. Okay, so let's remove one of these domains that we don't need. So now you can see inside of our shopping cart, we've got our domain, which in our case is knowledgebasevideos.com. We are registering it for one year. And if you want to auto renew this domain, so after a year, it will automatically renew it you can turn auto renew on. For the first year, it's gonna cost me eight pounds and one pence. I'm gonna turn auto renew off though. Make sure you've got domain privacy also enabled. That will be free forever and that will hide your personal info. And then scrolling down all the way here, we don't need any of these add-ons again and we can confirm that order. Now you will either need to log in to an account on Namecheap or create one. I already have an account, but if you want to create one, it's very simple and I recommend you do. So I've just logged into my Namecheap account now. What I can do is I can go ahead and click pay now. Now, if you've just created a new one, it will ask you to add your card details, which you can do just like any other website online. Then go ahead and click on pay now. Make sure you confirm everything is correct here. Then once your payment has gone through, you'll then get to this page here. And what you can do, you can just check it. And now to find your domain, you go to your account here, your username, click on dashboard and from here it will then take you to your dashboard where you can go ahead and go to domain list here you'll see all of your domains so here is the domain that i just bought knowledgebasevideos.com so that's all you need to do guys i hope that video helped you out let me know in the comment section below what else you want to watch